So now we've got some wheels in place, I want to look at uh, some smaller features and practice turbo smooth and smoothing grips. So let's look at uh, the wing mirror. Uh, so um, I've got my reference here uh, and we've got two separate shapes, sort of cone and a blobby sphere thing. Right, so let's maybe start off with the main wing mirror. And I'm going to start with a box. So let's just get that into place. Turn it into an edible poly. I've got my width and height segments lines of one. And let's just add a turbo smooth straight away. So if I just add turbo smooth by itself, we get this, uh, which is almost a sphere, but not quite. Uh, you can see it's slightly square. Um, but if we do change all the smoothing groups, so everything's going to be one apart from this back face. It's going to be two. And now we do separate by smoothing groups, we get this, which is a bit more like a wing mirror. Um, so let's work with that and just get that into shape. And I think I might add an edge right down the middle here, so let's do that. Feels good for that angle. Finally, the side view. Maybe one more swift loop just to give it a bit more shape, like that. And scaling from the center outwards. Something like that, maybe. Cool, that will do, I think. I'm always saying that, but then I tweak it more. There's always, you can always tweak stuff more. At some point you just have to say stop, right. Uh, yeah. Because otherwise these videos will run on forever. So I've got three minutes done. So let's work on the center section. Uh, and I'm just gonna start off with a cylinder, I think. Let's do that, create a cylinder. And I've already dialed the segments down, so we've got height segments one, one, and six sides. And then I'm gonna use this nifty little tool just to get into place. I'm gonna click on the car, click on select and place, uh, and then I can click and drag that object onto the surface of the car like that, which is quite neat. And it's huge. Um, but we shall shrink it. Uh, so I'm going to convert it to an edible poly and get rid of the top and bottom faces. And I'm going to just work with the edge borders to kind of massage it into place now. So shrink that down and move it. So that's kind of the top, still the bottom initially, so it's really thick. Um, so I've got set to the parent axis, so I can just do this, and maybe that. 
let's turbo smooth and see what we get. That looks pretty okay. Um, so now we have some wing mirrors. Let's out X. They look really huge. I'm sure that's correct though. Let's have a look at the reference. Yeah, they're kind of big. Probably tweak the shape a bit more, but we'll leave that 